Paul and Gary Sliman, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, am I a fit? Case study with a client that I've been working with for a little while. So let's take a look at this individual, wanted to get promoted, was in this organization doing well, wanted to get promoted, searched around at a couple other positions within the company, wanted to stay within the company, and did in fact get promoted. When she was working through that, we built a vision. She built a vision of here's the things that she felt she needed in order to take a new position, make sure she was a fit. Looked at the leadership role, took a look at the role in itself, work-life balance, relationships, the money, all those things came into play. So she built that, looked at her strengths, how she wanted to grow, this is how I want to grow, here's how my strengths fit into this particular position, and her values. Here are things that are extremely important to me that I want fulfilled every day I'm at work. Built that, searched, applied for a number of positions, found out, hey, I'm a fit here, got promoted in the position. Been there for about six months and doing extremely well in this position. Remember, just a couple weeks ago, did a video, and in that video, we talked about getting promoted. There are really four areas you need to think about. One, your leadership. Two, your technical expertise. Three, your tactical expertise, which is your technical expertise applied in context of the business. And then the last is your business acumen. So she's doing well in all those. She's getting feedback, the feedback she's getting from her boss on those three areas I just talked about with exceptional leadership, those three areas doing very well. Meeting her metrics, getting things done on time, happy with the progress of the organization. Peers, happy with her, like working with her, getting very good feedback, particularly on a 360 that she had, and subordinates are happy. Enjoy working for her, they're delivering for her, getting things done. One area she's not getting the feedback she expects or wants is from her boss. And the boss is on how she is showing up as a leader. So think about you if you were getting this feedback. And I'm going to bounce the feedback around a little bit. It's not going to be exactly her feedback. What if your boss comes to you and says, you're not visible enough. You're too visible. You're too hands-on. You're not hands-on enough. You're too extroverted in the way you're approaching. You need to be more introverted in this. What if it's all about really, in some cases, your style? Maybe in that organization, that boss, maybe he or she has this stereotypic image. That's how we do things here. And those words have come forward. Her boss actually said, I need you to lead more like we do here. And in this case, in this particular case, it's leaning in, vocal, visible, lots of hours. That's how leadership is seen there. So she's getting this feeling, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well here. Okay, what do you mean you're not doing well? Explain. Well, I'm not. My boss is giving me this feedback. Tell me about how you're doing against everything else. Doing extremely well. So we went back to what made you choose this position? What was your criteria to take this position? And we went back to that. She was very clear. Lots of clarity on what she wanted and why she took this position. And she felt it fit. So she took that and then now she's taking a look at where she is, is today. And she's doing well in all those areas with the exception of the boss saying you are not meeting our standard or expectation of what we think bosses are here. So my question, is she a fit here or is she not a fit here? And that was my question to her. So are you a fit? What do you think? Is she a fit or not? And what does she need to do? One of the questions we're working on, who sets the criteria for whether you're a fit or not? Is it you or is it the boss? And is it a case to say, I'm not a fit because of what you're expecting or how much do you push back before you pull the plug and say, all right, clearly I can't meet your expectation. So those are some of the things we're working through right now. Am I a fit? Am I not a fit? Who sets the criteria? Is it you or is it someone external to you that sets that criteria to measure you, whether you are a good fit or not. This is an interesting one, a fit in all areas, except for these couple, but these couple make it extremely uncomfortable. Thanks for listening. I welcome the opportunity to work with you and help you work through whether you're a fit or not for your organization.